Hey, what's up guys? Jerry here, aka Barnacles, and I'm out here in my garage slash makerspace slash dumpster. And we just got enough stuff moved out of the way that we can play around with this power box behind me. This power panel is about to get an upgrade. We're going to install something on it called a Sense. Now this device goes and connects to your panel, monitors all of the devices in your house, and basically figures out from their electronic signatures turning on, turning off, and so forth what everything is, how much power it's using, and gives you kind of a breakdown so you know where your parasitic devices are and where you could potentially save money on your electric bill. And since I'm poor as hell now, I'm going to take advantage of that. But I'm not going to do it alone because if you watch my Nest thermostat install video, I got electrocuted from the freaking fire furnace thing. I don't even think that puts, up, uh, puts out enough voltage to even like hurt a normal person. So instead, we got Chris. So Chris knows about how the Pixies flow through cables and he's gonna help me install this right now on this panel and we're gonna figure out how, I don't know how the last electrician kind of did this thing, but by the end of this video, you should know how to install this device or if it's posted by my wife, it's probably because we died from electrocution. All right, let's get started. All right, let's see what's inside the box. Open it up. Just to let you guys know, this is the first version of this too that was released like, I don't know, four years ago or something in their Kickstarter launch. They've updated it a couple of times, but the installation is, is pretty much the same. These are the instructions that we actually don't need because we have somebody here that's actually installed this before. So, wing! We got stickers. I have no idea what these are for, but we'll find out. All right, here it is. This is the Sense Unit. This is what we're going to be installing into the power box today. Well, actually, Chris is going to be installing it because I'm scared to death of mains power. All right, there's layers to this. Ooh, look at this. We got some, uh, what's the technical term for these? Do you know, Chris? Like, what, what, what do they call these things that just go around the wire and, like, detect the power flowing through it? So these, these go on the little mains power lines. These are probably the easiest part of the entire install because you don't have to disconnect anything because they're like that. That's cool. Okay. <laughs> so we have a bracket, which this may not be the same bracket that comes with the current version of the unit. I think they updated quite a few things. So take this with a grain of salt. Install should be exactly the same, though. Here's the antenna, so it can talk to your smartphone or smart device, which is what we're going to be using, probably an iPhone, so all the Android fanboys sound off in the comments. And then we got this, which I'm guessing is the wire that connects into two of the breakers, so that it can, I don't know, tap into the pulse of your house, I guess? Is that, would, that, would that be accurate, Chris? It's to read the voltage and the uh, power of the thing. <laughs> Henceforth Pulse. Those are just the wires from the sensor. So, all right, we're done. All right, for the duration of this video, just pretend this guy is a slightly less good looking guy than me. <laughs> Chris is off to the races. The first thing you need to do is use a Phillips screwdriver, or if you're in a really old ass flat. house, probably. Oh, is it a flat? Yeah. So Chris is using a flathead screwdriver to remove the panel because there's two stages. You can actually open the door. Show them what it looks like if you open the door. Like, if you just open the door, all you see is the breakers, right? And that's to prevent you from jamming your fingers in there when you're drunk on New Year's Eve and the power goes out and getting yourself electric communicated. Oh, well, that's not code. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, stop screwing my dead outlet. All right, now watch what's gonna happen here. Now that he's taking the screws out of the panel, we're gonna get to see the real guts. Oh, she's gonna be pretty too. And by the way, if you guys wanna get any of those stickers, you can get those at shop.barnard.com. Except for they're completely changed now and nothing like those. Gen 1 stickers, yeah. They're, they're, they don't have any color on them. The new ones have color because they have a better printer now at Merch Minion. There appears to be six screws on this particular panel. Now, this is the original panel that came with the house. That's the one that the electrician added later for my generator. You know, in hindsight, I could have given you a drill. Now, this is where the real magic happens. These are all the breakers that you saw when the door was open, minus all of the shocky bits, which are now exposed. Now, Chris, out of curiosity, what would happen if I touched my finger across both those wires right there? Don't. Yeah, that, that'd be a bad day, right? Okay. Because human, humans are basically just really big breakers that, that don't get reset. 200 amps, 240 volts flowing through you. That sounds like a lot. <laughs> <laughs> How many times have you been shocked in your day? Because you did electrical stuff when you, were, uh, when you were in the military, right? I didn't get shocked. I haven't been shocked as an adult. Are you serious? That's pretty. That's actually a pretty I wild my, I claim. My lesson as a teenager. <laughs> Watch my Nest install video. I literally figure out that there's a fair amount of voltage coming through that wire that goes to the thermostat. 24 volts. Oh there. God, yeah, it lit me up. All right, so notice we're not reading the instructions because, like I said, Chris here has installed one of these on his house. And it still works. And it still works. So we're probably good to go. Your unboxing skills are terrible, though. <laughs> I don't know. You kind of tangled this all up. Oh, now you're gonna blame me? Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and let him have that one because everybody else probably has to hire an electrician. And I didn't have the patience for him to do this. Not a penny. That's what you think. Send me the bill, Chris. I'll pay it just like all the other ones. <laughs> are you looking at the instructions? What are you doing, man? All right, we're trying to figure out where the angry pixies go. You can see the thoughts traveling through his frontal cortex as he examines this documentation. All right, you got to figure it out? Yep. All right. Little side up. All right. The nice thing is I don't even have to use After Effects to put the sparks in this video. <laughs> <laughs> 
Is that it? Like for those? Mm -hmm. All right, so the first step, just clamp those on the wires, but they have to be in the right orientation, so make sure you, you check the manual I told you we weren't gonna check. Yeah. All right, so the second part of the install, you have to actually tie the sensor wires into two breakers, correct? Mm -hmm. Now, why do you have to do two breakers instead of one? So that it can measure the voltage of both sides. Oh, gotcha, okay. Oh, because each bank is like on a different bar? Yeah, every other breaker, uh, every breaker ties to a different bar alternating, so this one is like this pole, oh, this one's this pole. Oh, gotcha, so if you just do two that are right next to each other, you get both. Yeah. Nice. Which is why they say to use a 240 breaker. Make sure you're using an electrician certified screwdriver, which we're not. <laughs> Just don't touch the shiny oh, oh, and it also says in the instructions that you're supposed to turn off the main breaker, this one right here. It also says you're supposed to use a certified electrician. Yeah, so certified electrician. That's true. That's true. So we it's are violating the rules. <laughs> oh, yeah, we probably should put a disclaimer in here. In case it's too late to say, this is a tutorial on how to install this device, but you should not install this device. Hire an electrician. Now that I've said that, I think my, my ass is covered. Is my ass covered, Chris? I don't know. You don't know? You have pants on. My lawyers yeah, will tell me. <laughs> Would it be bad if I just made like really bad zapping sounds right now? <laughs> <laughs> I won't do it. The I'll great thing it. about this is uh, you don't have to worry about sound. You don't? Why? Because you'll feel it first. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> so if you can hear it, it's too late. Good to know. Good to know. Top tip. Wait, you already got that connected? Yeah. Wow. You're, make, you're making this look easy. <laughs> Hammer. You do oh, hammer. dude, we were joking. I got out the <laughs> hammer because I was like, I'm going to tell him you need a hammer for this install. Holy crap, you do. All right. There you go. Hit it hard. Yeah, get in there. Yeah, we got to make a hole for the wires. The point of this is to take the Wi-Fi antenna. Okay. Oh, get it out of the Faraday cage? Yep. Got it. So to you guys that are lazy installers like I would have been, don't just throw the antenna in there amongst all of its wires in the case. Otherwise, it probably won't work. All right, Chris, what step are we on here? Um, eight. S step eight? Okay, cool. Know. Well, that's fine. <laughs> that's, they're not going to consult the instructions. All right. So, oh, wow. The antenna's like designed to fit right into that hole diameter. Mm -hmm. That's cool. All right. So now we got the box. We got the two wires going into two breakers. And you said those two breakers are not in use, correct? Right. So you probably per code, it depends on your area, check your code. But in some areas, you're not allowed to like use breakers that are already existing, existing. But technically, you think that'll work? Wink? It definitely works. That's what I do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but that might be a no-no. You're done? That's it. That's it. So a wire on each breaker. Wires. Okay. Common. Plug in that. That's the common. Okay. And then the box. The antenna. Antenna. And, and two little clamp-ons. Current sensors. And that's it. Really? Man, I kind of feel like... An idiot like for not doing point that point in years. Point. Oh my god. All right, crank it on. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna leave this off until you get it set up. Yeah, dude, the second you <laughs> screw that on, it's not gonna work. Right. All right, so now I we're on to the face. off like four times. Oh, you did? Yeah. All right, for so. One stupid reason or another. So, so now we're on to phase cell phone app, right? Yes. All right, cool. All right, so you may have noticed we did not use the bracket. This is for just if you don't have enough space in the box for the unit, you can mount it outside, like on the wall or in the wall or just something to hold it. We didn't need that though. All right, it's time for the phone. Oh, face ID. That's not going to work through a camera. <laughs> <laughs> now to download the app, just go to the app store, type in Sense, scroll down until you see Sense Home Automation and install the app. It's just like installing any other app when you're done. Fire it up, and then we got to get started. All right. Terms of service? Of course we accept those. Hello, have you installed your Sense yet? Mm, I'm going to say yes. It says it wants to use my Bluetooth. All right, so now it's scanning for that little antenna that we popped outside of the Faraday cage. And there it is, right there. It literally said NA under it. Is that a bad thing? Oh, you guys can't see this part. <laughs> All right, connect to Wi-Fi. Once you log into your Wi-Fi, now it's going to finalize the connection. Oh, oh, did you guys hear that? It made a sound. I think these two are talking and getting on. Oh, I'm just waiting for the firmware update because every device has a firmware update. Every device, three minutes after it goes on shelves, firmware update. Oh, I can't talk to the sense servers. Try again. I don't have the best internet. Oh, 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 wants me to create an account. Okay, you guys don't get to see this part. So once you fill in your home details, you have a device inventory down here so you can tell it the devices that you have, which I'm guessing probably help it detect stuff a little bit faster. But let me go ahead and save that. It hasn't figured out any of the devices. Everything's classified as other yet. So it's going to have to learn. It says Sense is listening. As Sense detects each device, they will show up here. Speed up the process by letting Sense find devices connected to your home network. 
Okay, sure. Speed it up. Enable identification so it's going to listen for broadcast events on my wireless network. Okay. Now what it can do is it can calculate right now without knowing any of the devices what your power usage is, estimated cost. It can go through and give you a lot of information on your power and depending on if your power is tiered or if you get a certain amount and then the price goes up after that. Uh, depending on your area, you can look at all these reports and get basically an estimate of what to expect in your power bill. Um, I'm guessing it's not going to be exact or perfect, but it, it's better than nothing, obviously. Under settings, I don't know. Let's see what we got here. General. Can we mess with anything here? We can change the theme. All right, so we're going to be blue. I like purple. We're doing purple here. It also has a dark mode because, you know, of course. Hey, can anybody tell me down in the comments why the electrical industry loves straight slot screws so much? I'm curious. I'm literally scared to even be this close to this thing with the panel off. Because those two wires are basically death. That is a taser that you don't you don't survive from. Just don't touch the shiny things. Okay, don't touch the shiny things. I don't even want to touch the insulated things. All right. <laughs> So you saw how easy the install was, right? Even though you should absolutely never do it under any situation, <laughs> ever. Get an electrician. Or a dumb neighbor. Or a dumb neighbor that does it for you. So if you guys want to complain about the install here not being the code, I didn't do it. And I authorized him to do it, not to, well, no, no, to, to code. No, I can't say that either. Hold on. Well, I, I, I got to figure out the right words here. Everything in this video is for educational purposes only. There you go. That would cover me. Technically, as a homeowner, you can do whatever you want. That's what she said. Sirs, and the newer kits, I think they updated these for, for some reason, but they're obviously working. And I cannot believe how easy the install was. You literally just find two open breakers that aren't in use. In this case, they, they're rec room because those got moved over to this panel. To adjacent. To do I got to use the word adjacent? Is that a thing? Yeah. Okay, so so two adjacent breakers, they can't be next to each other like that. They got to be like that because they alternate back and forth on the bars. Okay, so anyways, it looks like all you have to do is undo those screws, which again are flat head or it looks like they got they also have like a square head on them. Yeah, so you can, they can go either way. They're, they're by breakers. <laughs> so you plug one wire into one and one into the other. Does it matter which? They're both black wires. Doesn't matter. Okay, so it doesn't matter. And then you turn those breakers back on and you hope that your house doesn't burn down. That sound about right? That's it. That's a way easier install than I was expecting. I kind of half expected this to be very, very difficult. But seriously, don't do this yourself. Oh, I got something in my eye. So Chris, I'm gonna need you to be cameraman because I'm gonna attach this panel all by myself just so I can say in the video, I did something. All right, you get me all in frame there? I know it's hard. <laughs> <laughs> hey Chris, don't get my fat side, okay? Wow, why does this weigh like a thousand pounds? This weighs like 10 times more than you'd think it would. <laughs> Electricity, dangerous. Just shitty sheet metal. So dangerous. You know what I noticed is there's nothing to rest it on either. Yeah, actually there's clips on the top. Oh, is there? Up here. Oh. Just put those in the, put those like in they the just little, latch on top. Like there's a little gap here. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> got you. It's easier to hand thread those to get started. You're easier to hand thread. Dude, this is seriously like a blast door. I did not realize how heavy these things are. Now at this point, the average user may stop putting in screws, but I'm going to be diligent because this is an educational video and put in at least five of them. <laughs> now I feel like a total like douche nozzle for not doing this for years. And I years told ago. you it was easy. It's like, yeah, but you, people do that all the time. Like, oh, Jerry, it's easy. <laughs> it's easy to program kernel drivers. Oh, Jerry, it's easy to debug assembly. Like, it's relative. It's three wires. That was pretty damn easy though. Like, if I hadn't known that it was that easy, which I would have if I just looked at the damn instructions like four years ago, I would have been using this for like four years. But the only reason they say to have an electrician install it is just to cover their ass. Just to cover their ass because you touch those two wires at the top and you're you're gonna be vaporized. Yeah. They're gonna they're, your your name from there on out will be Stumpy. <laughs> Stumpy McLightning. Or uh, Sparky or uh... Sparky. <laughs> <laughs> All right, as you can see, those are all to code. There's absolutely no visuals that show that the sense is in there. That's part of the brilliant design. You think sense is gonna be mad at me for waiting like four years to review this? No. Nope. You guys aren't mad, are you? <laughs> Leave a comment down below if you are. I apologize. Well, that's it. That's all there is to it, guys. That's how you install the sense in your home. I thought this was going to be a more complicated video. It turns out this is absolutely dead simple. The guys at Sense actually came up with a really eloquent and simple solution. They're obviously telling you you need to use a professional electrician just to cover their ass in case you get in there after drinking a 12 pack and decide to touch all the shiny bits, which we established with Chris is bad. <laughs> Also, if you guys would like to support the channel and my comeback, buy one of my t-shirts that looks nothing like this because this is one of the old t-shirts over on shop.barnard.com and I guarantee you it won't be nearly this sweat stained. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. 
Thank you for everything. Part two probably will be coming next week. I'm going to do part two on the actual software and what devices it, it detected and everything once it actually detects said devices, which takes some time, hence why this is a two-part video. So now you have to subscribe. You have to like. Well, you don't have to. You can do whatever the hell you want. But if you do, you'll get a notification for the second video, which will complete the circle of review for the Sense device. I bid you adieu. Seriously, though, don't kill yourself installing this thing because uh, that'd make me sad. Make me really sad. Finn.